Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Tennedy Ice Pavilion as we get set for tonight's contest, a college hockey America matchup between the host Syracuse Orange and the visiting Rochester Institute of Technology Tigers. I'm Caleb Lamb. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight on the America One Broadcasting Network as Syracuse tries to keep pace with Mercyhurst atop the CHA standings in the race to see who will host the conference tournament coming up next month. And Syracuse comes into today's game with a 17-11-1 record, but more importantly, they are 11-3-1 in conference play and on a seven-game winning streak, including a win last night over the RIT Tigers in Rochester. RIT, meanwhile, comes in with a 500 record at 12-12-5 in this year, their first year in NCAA Division I ice hockey. And the Tigers, 5-5-5 five, five, and five in CHA play. The Tigers right behind Syracuse in the CHA standings with 15 points as they do battle with Robert Morris to see who will be the team that finishes with the higher seed and the chance to host the first round games. Remember, the top two seeds in this year's tournament get a bye. So here we go, Syracuse. Sends out its starting lineup. Margot Scarf and the second unit of Cara Johnson and Pia Santini out there to face off against the top line for the Tigers, led by Tanisha Hiller, Katie Hubert, and Celeste Brown. And Syracuse wins the opening draw, able to dump it in. Sent around behind by Ariane Yokoyama and played out to the near side boards. Brown will carry it in, but that's well off sides as Tanisha Hiller, one of the captains of this RIT team, could not hold up on the left wing side. And Syracuse... Under a little bit of pressure here from the stands as plenty of RIT fans have made the trip down. A lot of them wearing the breast cancer awareness pink jerseys from RIT from a couple weeks ago. And plenty of them to cheer on their Tigers as RIT looking for its first victory of the season over Syracuse. Melissa Piacentini carrying it in on the far wing for the Orange. Throws one in front. Margot Scarf couldn't get it on goal. And in goal for tonight's matchup, a matchup between Allie Binnington the sophomore from Oakville, Ontario, for the Tigers. And Callie Bilodeau back in net for Syracuse after only allowing one goal in a 2-1 orange victory last night. Down low for Cheyenne Dark Angelo, the top line out there. Here's Akane Hosiyamata, shot from the point, and it scores! Akane Hosiyamata blasts it home, and it somehow snuck inside the near post. one nothing Syracuse, just 54 seconds into the game. And for Akane Hosiyamata, it's goal number four on the season, her 14th point of the year. And the junior from Banff, Alberta, giving Syracuse some early momentum and some much-needed momentum as Syracuse, as I said, trying to keep pace with the Mercyhurst Lakers and try to end up being that number one seed come the end of the regular season and get to host the CHA tournament. What a blast by Hosiyamata. Syracuse off the draw, able to clear the pressure. Cheyenne D'Archangelo will carry it in on the right wing. And her backhand shot is stopped, saved by Bennington. Rebound goes behind the goal, sent back out in front. Kaylee Goodenough from the right point, save made by Bennington again in the chest. And they're going to change the credit on this goal. They're going to give it to Holly Carey Matima for the redirection. So the assist goes to Hosi Amata. And Danielle Leslie picking up the secondary on that as well. So for Holly Carey Matamo, the captain and senior, it's her 10th of the year. And that puts her in solid control of second place on the goal scoring list for the Orange. Syracuse off the face off, controls back to the point. Here's Osiamata again to the right side. She'll go back to Nicole Renault. Renault down low looking for Julie Nur. Bounced off of her stick and went away. Picked up by Melissa Bromley. Couldn't clear it out. Hosiyamata right side again. Throws one into the slot. One time chance just jammed wide by Jackie Greco, the senior out of Buffalo, New York. She'll drive it down low. Sadie St. Germain tried to get her way into the lane. Lost the handle on the puck. And it's carried away. Jess Patton. Could only get it as far as over the blue line before she and her line mates will peel off for a change. Here comes RIT with their fourth line out there, led by the two sisters from California, Cassidy and Courtney Kunichika. And here's Courtney Kunichika, the older of the two, the junior. Stops at the blue line, seeing that she would have been offside, so she throws it over to the far boards and will be sent in. 
Behind the net. Stopped by Cali Bellado. Leaves it off there, and Syracuse tries to get the breakout going. Piacentini plays it forward. Too far past Margot's scarf. Jammed back at the center line. And a chance to send it in for Morgan scoring. She will do it over to the far side. Didn't get it in deep enough, though. And now the younger of the Konechika sisters there, Cassidy, will dump it in deep before heading off for a change. Syracuse taking their time here, up 1-0, thanks to a goal 54 seconds in. That is credited right now to Holly Carey Matamo off a deflection from a slap shot from Akane Hosiyamata. Icing against RIT, bring the face off all the way down to the Tigers' defensive end. Syracuse has all three shots of the game so far. The Tigers still have yet to test Cali Bilodeau, who was in fine form the other night. As, like I said, she only allowed one goal, making a total of 27 saves as RIT did outshoot Syracuse by one. Celeste Brown, her shot, missing on the far side post. Sent back up top to the point. Kept in there and sent down low by Danielle Reed. Loose puck and skating up to pick it up is the freshman defenseman, Nicole Renault. She's developed a little bit of a goal-scoring streak lately. Has two goals in the last five games for Syracuse. Over far side to Holly Carey Matamo. She'll truck it ahead. Backhands this one in on goal. Bennington has to cover up as Nicole Ferrara was charging in. And Ferrara, another one of those players on a bit of a hot streak. She came into the game tied for the team lead in points with Carey Matamo. But as Holly Carey Matamo has just picked up that goal, she now has 23 compared to Ferrara's 22. So keep an eye on number 12, who has been in very good form after a slower start at the beginning of the season. She's one of the top-line players now with Holly Carey Matamo and Cheyenne D'Arcangelo. Right now, though, it's a chance for the third line to go to work. Sadie St. Germain, Julie Nur, and Jackie Greco. Played around to the near side point. Hosiamata picks it up, fakes a slap shot, and she'll go down to the hash marks for Julie Nur. For Ali Lacombe, tried to backhand one in front. Jackie Greco saw it jammed away. Able to keep it in and send it in deep behind the net. Stopped there by Kim Schlattman and a big collision in that far corner. Danielle Reed got the worst of it. She slowly gets back to her feet. No penalty upcoming. We play on. And it appeared that Allie Lacombe was the girl who made contact in that. Here's Margot Scarf cutting in, puts a shot wide, gets her own rebound, though. She'll follow it to the far corner behind the net. Melissa Piacentini charges in, loses an edge, though, and goes down. And a stick actually actually is caught in her skate on the far side. It was Kim Schlattman's stick. She couldn't get it out. Had to take a couple of seconds. Puck bounces back to her. She'll play it up and out of the zone. Only as far as center, though. Piacentini able to break it up. Knocks it back on the near side wing. Just Patton there. Trying to knock it loose. She does so. Comes off the boards to Marissa Majeri. Tried to clear it out of the zone. Could not. Pia Santini goes right back into her. Loose puck. And it just goes off the back of the stick of Kaylee Goodenough. Unable to keep it in. Dumped in deep to the RIT defensive end once again. Holly Carey Matamo, the goal scorer there. Shovels it further behind, looking for Cheyenne D'Arcangelo, her center. Instead, Melissa Bromley comes away with it. Weak clearance attempt is blocked, and pinching in is good enough to carry it down low. Bounces loose. For D'Arcangelo, tried to get a shot away, could not. Just pilfered off of her stick at the last second by Alicia Fortuna. Cleared by Fortuna, but it bounces back to her. Cheyenne D'Arcangelo will flip it up to the near side point. Brittany Krebs. Fakes a shot, dumps it deep on the near side wing, wraps around behind the net, stopped there and left on for Melissa Piacentini to set up. Check that, Nicole Ferrara leaves it for good enough, cuts in, her shot missed the net. It was a weak wrister and couldn't really pull the trigger on it with too many bodies in front. Dumped back in, Syracuse dominating possession right now though in the, in the offensive end. Back to the point, Brittany Krebs over far side playing pass. Looking for a room to shoot. Lost an edge, though, and she'll have to dump it in deep with Jess Patton trying to knock it away from her. In deep for Julie Nur. Couldn't fight her way through two Tigers players. Puck skips out to center ice. Loose, though, as it bounces back in. Sadie St. Germain has it. Chance for a backhand shot. Tried to spin around in front. She was knocked over, and that's a penalty. RIT caught with a defensive turnover in their own end, and they have to commit the penalty in order to keep Sadie St. Germain from getting a shot. 